In this series, we're breaking down the 2021 to 2024 racing rules of sailing. Rule 42, propulsion, is a complex rule, so we'll cover it in two parts. Part 1 discusses Rule 42.1 and 42.2. Part 2 covers Rule 42.3. Sailors use kinetics, abrupt changes in body position and sail trim, to keep the boat going fast. Rule 42 limits what you can do with kinetics. Many sailors don't understand or apply this rule correctly for several reasons. First, the rule is complex and requires some judgment to properly apply. Many sailors also lack experience with the rule because they were never taught how to use the kinetics properly. At high level events, the organizers supply on water observers to call penalties in real time. If you don't attend high level events, you can get away with bending the rules. For this post, we assembled a variety of resources to help explain and interpret the rule. The World Sailing Document on Interpretations of Rule 42 is particularly important. We also found some good videos with examples. See our post on salesing.com for links to all these references. Let's look at Rule 42.1, which is the basic rule. Take a moment to read it. Let's break this rule down into a few parts. Exceptions to 42.1 are stated in Rule 42.3, which we'll cover in Part 2 of this series. Rule 45 also covers exceptions related to anchoring. Anchoring is not common, so we won't discuss Rule 45. The interpretations document from World Sailing provides 33 separate statements to clarify the rule. These interpretations are labeled and shown in parentheses throughout this discussion. The basic four interpretation states that any action that clearly propels the boat is prohibited. Here's just one example of a prohibited action. This comes from the Finn class. If a single rock clearly propels the boat, it breaks the basic rule 42.1. Another interpretation applies to uncommon situations in which a boat is using an engine to get to the starting area. This comes from the World Sailing Casebook. Using an engine is okay if the engine is off before the prep signal at four minutes. Rule 42.2 amplifies the basic rule with specific actions that are prohibited. This slide summarizes the prohibited actions and gives definitions. Pumping is prohibited. Take a moment to read the definitions. The definitions in italics are from either the rule itself or from the World Sailing Interpretations document. Note that pumping includes moving the sail either by pulling the sheet or by moving the body. Pumping may also result in a flick in the sail. Rocking is prohibited. Rocking is repeated rolling of the boat so that the mast goes to windward and then to leeward. Note that repeated means more than once in the same area of the course. Also note that rolling caused by the waves is considered background rolling and as you might guess is not prohibited. Ooching and torquing are prohibited also. Note the difference between ooching and torquing in the definitions. Ooching is like sitting in a chair and trying to slide it in one direction using your body weight. Torquing is any repeated motion of the body. Sculling is prohibited. Sculling is repeated forceful movements of the tiller. Finally, repeated tacks or jibes are also prohibited. Let's look at the details and examples for each prohibited action, starting with pumping. Take a moment to read the rule. Let's break this down. Read the first two interpretations. The rule prohibits repeated fanning of a sail either by pulling it or by body movement. 
You can adjust your sails in response to changes in the wind or waves, but you can't repeatedly adjust them in steady conditions. Although this rule only prohibits repeated pumping, one pump may also violate the basic rule. Flicks of the sail indicate pumping. Here are the interpretations regarding flicks. Repeated flicks due to body pumping are prohibited. One flick of a sail due to body pumping or a sail pump is said to be in the yellow light area. This means the on-water observers will decide whether it's a penalty. A flick of a sail due to stopping its ease is permitted. Let's look at examples of pumping, first from the RYA video. Generally, just after the start, with the adrenaline still pumping, we can be a little bit too aggressive in our movements on the boat. You can see here, Iona is essentially bouncing in and out every time a gust hits. Every bounce causes a flick of the leech of the mainsail. Those flicks are what we call body pumping and can get her penalty. Now, she's much more smooth with her body movements. She goes out to flatten the boat off in the gust and then comes back in when the lull hits. But because it's smooth, there's no associated flick of the mainsail and that's perfectly fine at sailing the boat upwind. Here are more examples from the fin class video. Repeated body movements causing the sail to flick are considered body pumping and are not allowed. Repeated sheet pumping is prohibited. Even if it is not forceful, repeated pulling in and releasing a sail, which is not in response to wind shifts, gusts or waves, is not allowed. Part B of Rule 42.2 covers rocking. Take a moment to read the rule. Rule 42 allows you to respond to changes in the wind. If a gust heals you over, you ease the sheets and hike to restore the proper angle of heel. While this results in a roll, it's perfectly legal. As long as the wind is changing, you can do this repeatedly. You can roll the boat once for any reason if it doesn't propel the boat. Background rolling caused by waves is permitted. If you're not adjusting your sheets or body position, any rolling that results is permitted. However, you can't induce rolling by a single body movement. This might happen downwind, for example, when the boat is slightly unstable. Now for the examples, first from the RYA video. Rocking or rolling without turning the boat. And you can see at the moment, Iona is healing the boat to windward, but turning upwind. Now she's healing it to leeward and turning downwind. So the rolling is not associated with steering and is only there to facilitate fanning of the sail through the air and making the boat go faster. So this could well get her a penalty. You can see quite big movements of the sail. And more from the fin class video. Repeated rocks are not allowed, even if they do not clearly propel the boat. On a bit to inward, repeated changing of the heel of the boat is considered rocking and is not allowed. On the downwind, repeated rolling of the boat caused by body movement is considered rocking and is not allowed. 42.2 Charlie covers ooching and torquing. It doesn't specifically mention torquing, but this is covered in the interpretations. Ooching is prohibited entirely. However, the collegiate sailing document allows ooching downwind to facilitate planing or surfing, but only if planing or surfing is possible in the conditions. Torquing is allowed to help get the boat over a wave. In big waves, you can and should lean back to climb the face of the wave and then lean forward to accelerate down the back of the wave. This technique doesn't propel the boat, it just allows you to take advantage of the existing conditions. 
As you might suspect, torquing in flat water is prohibited because it has a chance of propelling the boat. We didn't include video examples of torquing. You can see examples just by watching dinghy sailors handle waves. 42.2 Delta addresses sculling. Take a moment to read it. Sculling is generally prohibited. However, there is a significant exception in Rule 42.3. We'll save that discussion for Part 2 of this series. Finally, repeated tacks or jibes are prohibited if they are unrelated to changes in the wind or to tactical considerations. This is just a hedge against the possibility that a tack or jibe might be a way to propel the boat. More on this when we cover Rule 42.3 in Part 2. Thanks for watching. We hope you'll join us for part two of this discussion. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like our videos, please subscribe. Also, visit our website at salesing.com for much more content and some unique sailing products.